Hello viewers, my guest today is a young man in a difficult situation. He can't go back to his homeland, which is Bangladesh, and he's sort of stranded in Sweden. He's going to tell you all about it. His name is Ashinor Rahman. Here he is. Yeah. Hi. Hello, I hope you're well. Yeah. So you're a, an apostate. You've given up Islam, I understand. Can you tell me why? What what happened to make you become a non-believer? Uh, other books I read that's called wrote uh, wrote by Arujali Matubbar. Uh, that those books influenced me to be an atheist. And you found out, for example, that Muhammad gathered an army and conquered nearby yeah. nations. He gathered an army conquered uh, nations, killing the men, captured the women uh, for sex slaves. And yes, yes. that is why basically I became an atheist. You thought religion shouldn't be like that. Yeah, yes. religion should not be like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did this cause any difficulty with your family and relatives and friends? Yeah, since I became an atheist, I just like I declare myself, I started to write blogs. Uh, so um, my family, I stopped to follow the cultures and activities that cause our religious activities. I stopped those. Then my uh, relatives, family members, they tried to convince me after uh, like uh, they stopped the relation with me. I had a long uh, fight with my wife. She is still, she's a practicing Muslim. So uh, she tried to convince me uh, because we have a baby, you know, we have a family. Yeah. So uh, she doesn't want me to leave, uh, live forever. But she also doesn't want me to follow uh, what I am writing, what I am doing, what I am thinking. Uh, yeah. She is still think that I will uh, follow her religion. I will yes. be just like a husband, like that. So uh, that was the ideological conflict in between my wife and my uh, myself. Yeah. I understand your home was attacked. Yeah, my home was attacked. More than 200 uh, followers of Jamaat Shibir with uh, the local weapons. So uh, the police came, the local police came and saved uh, the market in that in front of my uh, home. A few of them already captured that time and uh, somehow it was dismissed because it's now is uh, seven years ago. And you blogged in favor of secularism, I believe? Yeah, I wrote blogs especially in favor of secularism, humanism, criticize the Muslim doctrine, criticize the political uh, government, even the present political government and, uh, about corruption. In a funny article, I try to picture out the whole things in one small article. Sometimes. And what happened? Your blog was shut down and deleted? All the blogs deleted in 2014, even not only me, other bloggers, blogs also deleted by the government. So uh, from 2014, uh, I completely uh, use Facebook uh, for my writing rather than the just like uh, general blogs. Yeah. So how did you get to Sweden? In 2016, 5th of March, I received a phone call from uh, the law, law enforcement agency. In 2018, 18 December, uh, two person chased me just like uh, almost four kilometers. Uh, that time I realized that this place is not safe for me. So I have to move somewhere else. Then I discussed with my wife. Then she told me, okay, I can apply for the uh, higher education. Then she applied to Sweden, moved to Sweden on uh, 6th of January 2020. That our uh, flight was on 5th of January, reached up to the like boarding security pass, and somehow we were stopped by the uh, lady. So after that, two police came and they brought us to the like uh, police station that went inside the airport, and they took a sign on the blank form and uh, they canceled the departure scene uh, on, on our passports and send us to 
back to home. Uh, and uh, since we arrived in home, I saw the one uh, microbus was were there. Was there three person? They were in black dress. They were from RAP Enforcement Agency, that Rapid Action Battalion. So those three person came to me and they. Uh, uh, told me that you have to go with us. Then uh, I was asked about oh, what is the reason. They told us you should not ask any question. We will uh, uh, have some issues. We will ask you and send you back to home. So my wife also tried to stop them, but they replied same. Uh, we I went to the uh, rare rab headquarters. I was interrogated uh, by them, tortured by them. They slapped me. Even they told me. We will send you crossfire. So they were thinking that I am just collaborate with the other political parties because my writing was sometimes goes against the government, uh, yeah. just like uh, uh, the corruption. And thought I, I have some collaboration with the other political parties, and I am leaving the country to uh, for that region. So I show them the valid reason why why we are uh, leaving Bangladesh and why uh, heading to Sweden. So yes. my wife, I told them my wife got admission to the university, one of the university in Sweden. So I have all the proofs. So I show them that. So mm -hmm. we are leaving to Sweden because of our higher education, not yes. for the collaboration with the other political parties. No. Then they realized and they released me. Uh, we, I got released from uh, that situation on that day. And next yes. day morning, I flew to Sweden. Yes, but since then I understand your wife has gone back. Yeah, because my wife went back to Bangladesh because she tried to stop me to writing about all mm. these things. Mm. She thought that if we will go abroad, I might change myself. Since we came, I cannot stop my because I cannot uh, lock up my. Uh, like thinking, I cannot lock up my brain. I cannot, I cannot. I'm just like like a lame person, right? So, uh, as a human being, I have some responsibility. And what is yeah. that? Make this world for the uh, civilized person uh, yes. who are not uh, critical, who are not just like harmful for the other uh, human being. So, mm. my, I cannot stop my. That is why I cannot stop my writing. So, my wife, or it was a big fight with my wife and. She finally left to Sudan, yes. left Sudan to Bangladesh. Yeah. Yes. So now you you've had death threats, I believe. Yeah, I have a lot of death threats. Forty death threats I have um, uh, in different times, and presently I receive uh, more death threats rather than before. Yes. So AAI is pleased to be able to help you to seek uh, a visa and uh -huh. employment in okay. Sweden. OK, that should be really uh, good for me, you know, and I will, will be really kind to AI because I am in uh, really in danger position right now, in uh, in travel situation right now in Sweden. So because if I will not uh, get visa in Sweden, I have to uh, go back to my country. And if I will go back to my country, the Islamists, they will have to death me or the government will send me to the jail. That's yes. really true, and uh, yes. that's my like. Uh, I can see my future if I will go back to my country. We don't want that to happen. Okay. We'll do everything we can to help you, Ashinor. Okay. Thank you very much for this chat. Okay. Thank you for very much. Good luck. Your Good applications. Night. Okay. Bye.